So we're looking at VPC endpoints and they are used to privately connect your VPC to other AWS services and VPC endpoint services. So I have a use case here to make it crystal clear. So imagine you have an EC2 instance and you want to get something from your S3 bucket. So what you normally do is you use the AWS SDK and you would make uh, that uh, call and it would go out of your internet gateway to the internet back into the AWS network to get um, that file or, or object out of S3. So wouldn't it be more convenient if we could just keep the traffic within the AWS network? And that is the purpose of a VPC endpoint. Um, it helps you uh, keep traffic within the AWS network. And the idea is now, because it does not leave the AWS network, we do not require a public IP address to communicate with these services. Uh, it eliminates the need for internet gateway. So let's say we didn't need this internet gateway. The only reason we were using it to, was to get to S3. We can now eliminate that and keep everything private. Uh, so, you know, there you go. There are two types of VPC endpoints, inter interface endpoints and gateway endpoints, and we're going to get into that next.